Oh, at Photo London. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Wild. Okay, so it's rolling. Hi. Hi. Here we are at Somerset House at Photo London 2021, soaking up some art and culture. Don't forget the culture. London. <laughs> and it, it's not raining. And it's not raining at this moment in time. We're going to take you through some of the exhibits. We're going to talk you through what's happening at the Nikon stand. So. Uh, Come on. Grab my hand. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I'm walking that way. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> now let's go to the Funky Punk Gallery. Days of Punk project. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I, if only I could move the gimbal to show that. <laughs> that would be amazing. It would be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. You know. So what camera is it? What, what, what? Well, the lens actually has a Sigma lens cap, but you uh, know what it looks like? It's an FM with a 50mm pancake. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. It's 518 isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just with a very deceiving front lens cap. Very we didn't know what she was using. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Nikon stand probably, that's why. And we are entering the stamp yeah. office. Ah, it's an electronic door. I see. It's wonderful. <laughs> After <Wow>. you. <laughs> Thank you. say look in the camera not turn away yeah okay. but you know what I like this is like entering the heaven I love it it's like a, it's very biblical it's actually I think reflections in the water because if you look at the tree outline that's true but it's amazing it looks like a watercolor painting yeah. speaking of water I really like that shot over oh, there yeah. because the color is just stunning mm. I don't think on the camera it shows as beautifully. But, no, uh, it doesn't do it justice. No. And again, it's a reflection. It's the use of reflection. Yeah, like this one is through a window. 
with the water droplets. That's true. Very easy to do in England. Velvet Palace is the British brand. It's a very famous skateboard brand. Didn't we sell them some cameras? Yes, yes. The guy who bought D50 from us, he's a photographer for them. All right, here we go. Tony Hawk. That's uh, our YouTube oh, views. We yeah. will appreciate. I That's had this cool. one. I had the OG PlayStation. You got the OG PlayStation. Like not the PS, not the not the PS One mm -hmm. PlayStation. The PlayStation. When it had no other name. I did not have Tony Hawk though. That was one game I didn't have. And I never had PS One or PlayStation. Um, My friend had, and I was always jealous. Yeah. Oh man. Now oh, I finally we found something that we like. <laughs> Whole it's video like from Somerset <laughs> House. <laughs> Look at the PlayStation. You can easily get lost in here, isn't it? I mean, in Somerset House in general, yeah, it is labyrinthian. They don't have Google Maps for Somerset House. <gasps> Look, it's a digital type. Oh, I love that. That's nice. And again, the camera just doesn't doesn't do justice. No, you can see it's my face in the reflection. Mm. But no, oh wow, oh, it's like magic. Oh hi, have a notice here. Okay. We are here for the cup exhibition at Nikon Stand. I've got the Elliot Irvin's book, but not this one. D50. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I, that. I think you like I, how the light plays yeah. with the road. I assume it's a lockdown, right? Not many people. It looks like it. Or it's really early in the morning. Well, this one is very early in the morning. There's no one there. <laughs> You see that texture? Yeah, but you could just as easily believe that they were paintings or digital art, which is what's so kind of interesting about them. That's true. A simple concept. Simple yet effective. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> the light and shadow, mm. the blacks and whites.
Becky's like, looking at naked people. No, they're not no, naked no, people. No, no. Yeah. Looking at still life. Thank you very much. Nothing wrong with naked people, by the way. <laughs> Alright, is now, obviously Becky, I've got a Christmas present for you. Right behind you. This one? Yeah. I don't have a wall big enough for that one. I don't have money big enough to buy that. But it's it's amazing, it's very impactful. It is. Like, what do you like about this image, Becky? It I says coffee, that's a good start. That, that is the main reason, <laughs> no, I'm joking. For this one, I feel like, you know, I could just transport myself. Yes. Yeah. I, I can imagine you there on that short, yeah. but, um, <laughs> you know, instead of a phone, you have a book. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know. exactly. This is a kind of print I would have hanging in my house, like it just transports you to that location. I think that they're all, I'm not sure about all of them, but these are definitely taken in New York. Obviously. Yeah, so I guess uh, the Empire State Building gives it away. It does a bit. Yeah. But it's again, it's a use of light, isn't it? So it's a very clever use of light, because it's almost, some of them are so underexposed that you only yeah. get a few details. Ah, here time. you go, and that's why you probably would use either sport nutrient, or you probably take several shots and then you wait for a moment. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hi. 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 Thank you. Can you see that? That's an incredible use of sharp I can tell you that. Because I can't scribble like that. Amazing. It's like I'm moving and the images, is, images are moving with me. Mineral pigment. Whoa. Okay. I said I always find it interesting to mm -hmm. see what people name their photo. Mm. I mean, if, if I could recommend one thing, I would just recommend him to use slightly faster shutter speed because otherwise you get too much motion blur. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, look at these beautiful pieces. And uh, I would just recommend use manual focusing to confirm the image is sharp as well. I don't think that was the intention. Let's dissect this shot, yeah? Obviously it's very beautiful, but I assume you probably put a, some sort of glass yes. in front of the person, a diffusion look, glass. Yeah. Okay, but look at that one, it looks almost yes. 3D. It does, yeah. Alright, so you can, in this one you can actually see the, the glass or the person or the sheet or whatever true. it is. Very clever. But you can also see the strokes, like I don't know what he used, like a soap or something, but you can always see that well, if, on the Well, if we have a look at one of the smaller ones closer up, it looks like it's been glazed and then intentionally cracked. Yeah, yeah like if, if I can get close to it, that's it. Yeah, amazing. How interesting is that? Absolutely. Yeah, what did I mean? A little gem. This is a contact sheet. And look, it's Andy Warhol from 1962. All right. How cool. Good old Andy. Natural. I want to look at All right, what do we have here, baby? Uh, so this is a Bastian Wood. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very fashion. Very fashion. This one is like one of those. Things. Yeah, They're called hats, Becky. Um, <laughs> Thank you. The only one We're back. <laughs> We're back. We just we just lean a little bit on the side, but <laughs> oh. I think I think I I know what we do. There you go. I'm just gonna be like. Seriously? Oh, it just suddenly like died. It went. Yeah. <laughs> 